Hello, this is Paul Wilson of PR Wilson Media. A warm welcome to this, the sixth lesson of the How to Run an Effective Social Media Campaign training course. And this is a practical example now. In lessons one to five, we've learned about all the various stages required in order to put together a campaign. Well, this is a real world example. My Rotary Club, Rotary Club of Grantham, are hosting an open evening on Thursday the 7th of March, which is seven weeks from today. And they've asked me to do the social media publicity. Uh, what I'm going to demonstrate is how to set up a Facebook page, detailing the event, then creating a Facebook event invite, and then finally how to link it to the Rotary Grantham Twitter account. These are all the kind of things you'd need to do to put a campaign into reality. So from the group exercise in lesson one you are able to go through and uh, discuss the primary objective and I've filled this in here to raise awareness attract attendees for an opening evening and campaign duration how many hours a week I'd like to work on it followers social media so all of that has been done so now I'm going to go ahead and start creating the page so I log in as the user account we created in the Facebook basics and here on the left hand side you've got pages like pages now we can click on the create page button what we're going to do is select a type of page so we'll say cause or community and we'll call this Grantham Women now I'm not actually going to publish this live I'll show you in the course that you can actually say um, unpublish for now so any of the administrators can see it this is great because you've got time to work on it and develop it before you put your campaign into action. So I'll say I agree to the terms and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is a profile picture. Well, that image that you saw before would be ideal, so we'll just select that from the desktop. And there it is. Select open. It will come up. And then we just click next. So we've got a picture. This is an event celebrating the economic, charitable and social contributions of women in Grantham. Obviously I'd put a lot more detail in if we're going to do the real example in full but at the moment that will do for now so we'll click save info enable ads we can skip that we don't really want advertising on this community site and so this is the view you get the first thing you see is it all fogged out suddenly up here it says you're posting commenting as Grantham women so now you have that persona you're not just posting as yourself your own user ID so the first thing to do is add a like now this page will need 30 different likes you have to click it there so we've liked the page if it gets 30 then you'll be able to see some statistics about who is looking at this traffic what I'd now need to do is show you somebody else liking the page because they need to do that before you can have another administrator it's always best practice to have a second administrator of a Facebook page at least so I'm friends with one person at the moment and that is Paul Wilson so I'll log in now as Paul and then like the page and then I'll demonstrate how I add Paul to be an administrator okay so here I am as Paul myself and you can see that I administrate a number of pages I'll just click on one to show you the same sort of example you get all this admin console but it's the insights that are particularly interesting if you click down here on some of the statistics so you have likes but you have talking about it here and if I just click on that that will bring up all the kind of detail about how many people the page is reaching gender and age female male split number of countries accessing the page who's talking about it who's sharing it on their networks but we're here to like the page of Grantham women so I'll just do that and click on that and I select the like button and that will instantly give Peter Wilkins the opportunity to create me as an administrator so we'll log back on as the other account okay so here I am logged on as Peter and you can see the page there and if I click on the page 
you can see that there's a second person has liked the page. Uh, we'll just come out of that administration thing. So we'll just um, click on home. And we'll click on edit page in the admin panel. So we click on admin panel, edit page. So we'll just skip out of the wizards that are trying to launch at the moment so we can get on with the real business. Right, so edit page and we select update info. Now this is where you can fill in more details about the page. We have the basic description we added in basic information but here under your settings um, you can get email notifications when people message. Again you could probably turn those off if you don't want the additional traffic. Manage permissions is the most interesting one I guess. Um, you can restrict it to anybody over the age of 21 even but I'll just leave it as 18, 13 plus. Now this is, depends on how you want to structure it. If you want people to comment and interact then you have to let people post. Uh, you can add photos and whatever. So we'll, we'll leave it open but if if it's a different scenario and you don't want all the comments filling up the page etc you can turn all these off and here at the top it's probably the most important one because immediately as soon as you select unpublish this page it's no longer publicly visible and you can then get on with updating it as you wish so we'll do that and save changes right so now if we click on admin roles we can type in the name of the person who we want to add as a second administrator and all we need to do we can select different levels of access for him but we'll play full manager and we'll select save we're asked to confirm our password and now there are two people and when they log on and go to the page and select the option and this is where you can change your identity if you like to suit what you're trying to do. So this is where you would normally post and here I would post as Grantham Women so we'll test that out and say hello and welcome to the page and click post let's see what happens. Yes yeah, so instead of posting as Peter Wilkins it comes up as Grantham Women. I can actually change that if I want to at some point. Just say use Facebook as. As myself. Okay, so there's not a lot of options there at the moment. So, in my normal profile page, hello, Peter Wilkins. That is still process myself but when I'm on that page and administrating it I represent that organization now there's various things that else we can do we can create a cover page to go in the backdrop of it so it looks a little bit nicer I'll give an example and a rotary cover ground them you can see that as the cover page uh, all sorts of things you can do but we just want to get on with a practical example of how you create an event so that's what we do. We click on home, go to the page, and we now look for the button that says events. Now we have offer or event. So let's select event and we'll say open evening and we will say Jubilee Center. Uh, rotary open where evening women's day and we'll just say the date for now so there we go 7th March at a time 7 p.m. and you can restrict who posts in the event invite as well um, if it's just you updating rather than other people because again it could generate extra email traffic and you click create the event is created you have the option to join the event or say maybe 
as you've created it. And here you can add an event photo. So similarly, we'll use that same picture that we use for our profile for consistency for the Women in Rotary page. Okay. And we will join the event, as I said. And I can share the event on Peter's timeline straight away. Hello, this is our new event. Click share event. Or I could even share on a friend's timeline, so I could share on Paul Wilson's timeline. Uh, I'm not going to do that at the moment, but there's an example where you can start to spread the word. You can invite your friends, and you just whoever is your friends, you could send click save, and then I'll get a special notification invite. Uh, let's invite Paul anyway. While we're there, so he'll get an invite. So that is effectively how you create, and you have the address here of the event, so you can share that. But let's try and reach a different audience. Let's try and get this invite out to the Rotary Grantham existing Twitter feed. So how do we do that? Well, we go back to the events page, the home page, sorry. And we go back to the page itself, and there is an option within the admin panel. So if we collect, select update info again, and now we're looking for we will select resources. Now, bearing in mind that this is a unpublished page right now, what we're going to do is temporarily remove that so that it can be seen by people when we post a link to Twitter. Just to make it a valid test. So, we go to resources and then there's an option here, link your page to Twitter. Very straightforward. Link my profile to Twitter authorize that now as I'm currently signed in as Rotary Grantham this is actually linked my profile my personal thing so we'll just unlink that one and say under here this is the correct option link a page to Twitter that's better so we click link to Twitter the reason all we need to do is confirm that we give it authority to do that and now your Facebook page is linked to Twitter so I'm just going to test that out and prove it I go to the page and say hello this is our new event for at on 7th March an opening evening. Now be aware that there are 140 character restrictions so although you could type more in here only a certain amount will be shown. So just do celebrate International Women's Day. I'm just going to click post now and we'll see how long it takes to filter through into Twitter. So let's take a look in Twitter and we'll click on tweets. And as you can see, there it is. Hello, this is our new event on the 7th of March. So I'm going to delete that from Twitter right now. But you can put in the links to the Facebook page. You can put it the Facebook event invite. So you can see all of those things work together. And you can very quickly set up the basics for a campaign. Great if you've already got you know, an existing audience. We've got 2,800 followers on Twitter that are going to get reached immediately by this. But you could still create your own Twitter account and build it from scratch. There are plenty of options. It's a seven week campaign. We can gain those followers. We can gain a lot of interest. So hopefully that's been useful and thanks very much and all the best.